What's up guys, welcome back to Let Dirt Fly. Taking a little road trip today. I'm actually doing a, um, like an eight and a half hour drive down to uh, the Virginia, North Carolina border. Um, I found a machine that, well, I found a machine that I'm pretty much buying no matter what. It's a really good price and uh, there seems to be some kind of a gremlin or some kind of a bug in it, um, judging by what the post said. Seems like it almost has some kind of a fuel system issue. Guy changed out fuel pump, um, injectors, plugs, stuff like that. So it's got some kind of an issue that I hope Marshall and I can figure out how to fix. So I am taking this long road trip down there, get there, test the bike out, make sure it runs, does everything he says it does. I have plans for this bike, and if we can't figure out what the gremlins are and get this thing running right, worst case scenario, I part this bike out. It's well worth it, more than enough money. It's got a whole bunch of uh, aftermarket parts already on it. Some I'll keep, some I won't, some I'll change. So why don't you guys stick around? and see what uh, I bring home. guys so I am like two minutes away uh, maybe one minute away and uh, wish me luck here I'm all the way down here just about in North Carolina so long drive hopefully it pays off all right guys so I did it I bought it it does have some issues. Really hoping that Marshall and I can get these issues taken care of pretty quick, pretty easy, pretty cost effective. I got it for a little less than what I was expecting to get it for, which is a good deal. But yeah, so I am, I'm happy, nervous, all that kind of stuff all at one, because hopefully I didn't make a really bad decision here, but we're gonna find out. So let's see what happens. The next day. All right guys, so I am, Almost back to uh, to the area. Last stretch, what am I at? About 30 minutes away. Figured the sun came up. Um, I started driving home at midnight, so I basically logged 16 hours, 16 and a half hours of driving um, in the last 24 hours, so it's a long trip for this. But yeah, so I'm gonna actually stop by Marshall's with this thing and surprise him. Seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's six fifty-three. But still, um, I'm gonna be stopping by your house in a couple minutes. I want you to uh, grab your camera and meet me downstairs. Okay. I gotta show you something. Okay. I I yeah. I, uh, I just got I gotta get dressed, but yeah. Okay. All right. Alright, sounds good. Bye. What the heck? Dude, it's so freaking early. Gonna surprise him in a couple minutes uh, when I get over to his house. And uh, I'm gonna show him what I got. And I'm gonna show all you what I got. So, stick around. Alright guys, we are just pulling into Marshall's driveway here. Um, 
he should be coming out. He's got all kinds of ring cameras, so he should at least know I'm here. So I will surprise him and see what he thinks. Oh, I don't see him yet. Okay, it's like currently 7.30 in the morning now. I heard Seth pulling, I don't know where the heck he is. Uh, okay, he's not in his normal spot. All right, find Seth. He told me, where is he? I don't even see his truck anymore. He's in front of the garage? I have no idea what he wants. What is that? What do you mean, what is that? <laughs> That's a quad. It is a quad. Why do you have a quad? Uh, it was a good deal. And why are you waking me up at 7 o'clock in the morning with it? Dude, sun's out. I'm out. <laughs> sun's out. Is this why we couldn't ride this weekend? What the heck is this thing? I know what it is. I was going to say, you should know what it is. It's a red. <laughs> okay. Why does it look so rough? It lived down by Busco. That's where you were this weekend? Uh, two hours away, yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh my God. This is quite the surprise at seven o'clock in the morning. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh dude, I just realized it's got Empire Duels. Yeah. Dude, we gotta, we gotta fire this thing up. No. What do you mean, no? Well, yeah, but. Yeah, but? Maybe. Dude, it's got empires. <laughs> it, it's too early, we'll wake everybody up. This is true, okay. I, like, I mean, my neighbors don't really care. What? <laughs> it, it, it might run, we'll see. It might run? Was the battery dead in it? Uh, it? possibly. Possibly, okay. Possibly. That happens. Sitting, it's got brand new tires, dude. Dude. Literally he brand he new. He never even turned them. Literally brand new. Look at this. Still got the sticker on it. has got the sticker on it. 30s, okay. A little smaller than we run, but still a good size. Actually, they look about the same size as my 310s. Yeah, actually they do. All right, but now that you gave me the good camera. Yes, 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 yes. Tell me about this thing, because... Okay. Wait, wait where were you at? I was a... It's called South Hill, Virginia. So basically, it's three miles from North Carolina. About two hours from Busco. Not even. Maybe. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so I, I drove down there. I left... Uh, Jesus. Yeah, the sun's up now. Yeah, you woke me up. I uh, left uh, 6 o'clock in the morning yesterday, Saturday morning. And uh, it's, uh, what, 7.30 in the morning on Sunday. Yeah, so, thanks. Yep. Although it's for good reason, I guess. Yeah. Sounds pretty sick. <laughs> Just a little she, she's, weathered. She's, uh... Is that oil? I, I think it's... I don't know what it is. It looks like oil, but it doesn't really feel Dude, like... Dude, what's going on with the seat? Oh, this seat's trash. What the hell? I don't think this thing's ever been covered. I think this thing lived outside. Well, you can see the busco mud on the exhaust. Uh, you can see Let's get a deeper look everywhere. at this thing. Okay, look at... Um... Dude? What? No, no, no. No, what? no. What? No, no, no. Just look at this one. Okay, yeah, you have one on that no, side. No, no, no. But... Don't look at that. Look over here. <laughs> right there. You guys see how it breaks over there. <laughs> where, where is this one at? Oh. <clears throat> you can see it had one. You can see it came off. Oh, yeah. You Hi. can see that. Oh, uh, it's probably... <laughs> In the bottom of a mud hole? It's, it's probably at Busco, honestly. Uh, okay. Um, Maybe we can find it when we go back this year. <laughs> it's just metal detected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so based on the colors, it's a 19? It is a 2019. Okay. Yeah, because it's basically the same colors as Melissa's. Yep, they had the two options that year. They had the black and yellow or the black and gold. Okay. Um, and being that's... Okay, yep, I, I was going to say, well, it's got 14s, but I also just saw that. So that means she's a 1K. Oh, yeah. And she's a 1KR, which means we got the math heads and everything, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Dude, we gotta hear this thing run. Maybe. Why do you keep saying maybe? Dude, I have a jump pack. Okay. Freaking jump it. Let's jump it. You wanna jump it? <laughs> Get it running? 
I want to hear it. Well, well let's offload it. You gonna start up to offload it? I don't know. We can try it. I have fun Why do you keep saying we can try it? I don't like that. Come on, man. You keep saying weird things. Why do you I don't think like. It's at your house right now. Why do you think it's at? Wait. Yeah, why did you bring this over here? We already have your other quad in the garage over there. We had to jump it down there, so. Okay, so what's been sitting for a little bit? Uh, yeah. Oh. Did you just go through the seat? Oh. What the hell? Oh, here, feel cool. Well, there's, there's no break there. <laughs> well, I wonder why. Is it loud? Is that a dead battery? That's a dead battery. Do you just call it a camel hump, babe? Yeah, that's what it looks it's like. It's a rhino horn. It's called the rhino horn. Get it it's right. Like Alright, so we're pulling this thing off. Show. Rhino horn. We're pulling this thing off. Okay, got it. So that's going to be rocking a 1K. Maybe. First 1K on the channel. It actually looks pretty nice. I'm surprised for Busco. It looks just new, actually. Looks pretty good. Wait, what? Seth? Yes, sir. Why does it say, this is a 2019, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it, what the, let me see if I can, why does it say 321 for the build date on the engine? According to the guy, the original uh, motor in this, the rings went bad or something and it blew the motor. So they uh, warrantied it and gave him a brand new motor at 23 hours. Well, that's good. That means this thing's freaking brand new. This bike has, I think, 99 hours on it, so it's got 66 on the motor. Jeez. Which ain't bad. That's she's pretty in, new. She, she's in rough shape looking-wise. Yeah, yeah, she's seen some, I see Busco sand everywhere. Everywhere. Literally everywhere. <laughs> Dude, it's literally everywhere. Okay, well, let's continue to get this thing off here. So it's got a new motor, it's pretty cool. All right, we're getting places. All right, let's see. It's a start, right? It's a, yeah, it's yeah. We're looking good, okay. I like it. Wait, does this have brakes to get off the trailer with? Maybe. Okay, well at least there's no vehicles behind it, so. She's still neutral? No. That usually helps a little bit. She has a nice. Oh God. She is a little, just, she's a thick girl, huh? I just need a little room to get here. All right. This is going fine, this is going fine. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. oh, I just saw this. I didn't even see this at first. Oh, nice, I like this. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, wow, what happened here? Winched in a little too far. Is that really what he did? It got stuck and he didn't realize it. Wow, it even went into the rat a little bit. Well, I have one of those down back, actually. What, a rat? Yeah. I actually do. Okay. She looks a little tired. Is that is that a good word to describe it? Could be. It's not horrible, though. I don't know where you're trying to go with her. Over to the garage? Towards the, the, the garage. Brake, the brakes don't work at all. Seth, what did you buy? I bought the worst Renegade on Marketplace. That I could Why? find. Why? Bring her back. This is bad, isn't it? Does it, wait, hang on. What? Does, does it actually run? Yes. I saw it running. Okay, that's... So it was running. So why has it the worst then? Well... It's got issues that, oh, no. the reason why I got it for so cheap was. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh, uh, I guess when it warms up, it won't restart. So it's got some kind of a uh, issue there. Uh, and not sure what it is, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna find out. You do realize that we have Busco coming up in a couple months. Exactly, we have Busco coming up in a couple months. We can play with the big dogs now. We have big dog quads. We do, but this is a bigger dog quad. 
just get it over by the garage. Maybe. See if we can make it do anything. Maybe? Yeah, you're having a... Here, let, let me put the camera down. Oh, here, I'll push from the back. There's a ramp there. Careful. Yeah, we hit that. That's fine. Perfect. Now we got two Close quads enough. that are broken as crap of yours in my garage. This was not broken as crap, and it's not in your garage. It's out outside the garage. Well, let's just start digging in, I guess. Well, um, are we gonna try to run or what do we do? Yeah, let's do? get the jump pack. Okay. All Pretty right. sure all my quad parts are in the way. Um. I don't even know how to work on a renegade. Does this come off? Sure. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know how this works. Oh, it pops up up there. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Things making progress here. This looks like this popped up here. Ah, okay. Got this. I got this. Look at this. We're already a renegade mechanic. What's that? So we're already a renegade mechanic. I'm figuring things out. Look at that. Except the RJWC Gigantor freaking. Uh, yeah, that's coming. Yeah, you gotta move that. All right, well, this battery's about to die. Let's get this charger hooked up and see if we can't make this thing make noise. Okay, so, got this thing on the charger for here, just for a minute, it's got a jump pack. Uh, might as well let the battery charge up for a minute. While it's doing that, let's just <coughs> go over here and stuff like that. First thing I always like to check on a new quad is let's take a look at the air filter, dude. Really, we're gonna do this? On camera? Do what on camera? Yeah. I wanna see what the... What do you call it? I just want to see what the filter looks like. Oh, he's running with K&N, I don't like that. Dude, wait, no, hang on. Move your hand. <laughs> what the hell is that? Dirt. Why is it past the filter, though? Dirt. Yeah, I, Dirt? I think he swamped this. Um, He swears he didn't swamp it. Check the oil. No water or anything in the oil. Oil's dirty, like he's been running it. Okay. And it runs. <laughs> that sounds confident. You need it it runs. Run. It does run. After the battery gets jumped up, we'll f start right up. Okay. That's a you good know. thing. Running, running's always good. Do you know if he swamped the clutches or anything like that? I think he probably did. I think he put the whole horn under. might have to check under. that out and look in there real quick. So that right now currently has the uh, factory clutches in it. Factory clutches? There's STMs in the back seat of the car. There's what? STMs. Full STMs. What? So, full STMs in the back seat of the car. Full STMs. Yeah, I see. Yeah, you're <laughs> saying full STMs. Yeah. Let's go check those out. Let's go. Wait, why do I have a feeling this is gonna be bad? Why? Wait, why aren't they in the quad? He took them off the quad because he said nobody wanted the quad with the STMs on it. So. What do you mean nobody wants a quad with yeah. STMs? He was charging one price for the quad with what STMs. What the heck is that? It's called a secondary. Uh, yeah, I know what it is. What? Where is it? Got a lot of belt fricking grunt. See? What the? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. I don't know if he just left everything outside. Was this at the bottom of the ocean? Could have been. Could have been. The S. Maybe we'll name it the Titanic. <laughs> 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 it's kind of already what it looks like. And, uh, <laughs> Oh, there's a box of parts. Oh, that's even better. A box of parts. Oh, oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Whatever, yeah. Uh oh, okay. That's... But again, you know, got a little surface rust. Yeah. It doesn't feel as scratchy as mine did. No. No, but it's got, you know, it's got little bits of rust everywhere. It's got to get she, gone through and cleaned she's up. She's got to probably spend a trip up to our buddy. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll just ride the stock clutching for now. Unless the stock clutching looks worse than this. I don't know. Here's one box. Wait, one box? Yes. That's not the box? So that's clutches. There's more? And wait! I don't like the wait there's more with this thing. So far everything you showed me so far is scaring me. Okay, well there's... Minus a little <laughs> sponge. Uh, Lucky Seven, that Whoa. literally has just, it's got to get completely repowder coated. Sanded down and repowder coated. Yes. Ooh, it's heavy. It is freaking heavy. What do you guys like? What I they, couldn't what, believe how heavy this thing is. What do you guys want to turn their quads into boat anchors? Is there weight? There's more in here? 
We gotta go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. You, is your entire truck filled well, with the other side. I, I have no idea what the hell is uh, in all this crap. We got the oil that he was gonna do the oil change with. You mean the oil he was probably gonna use to flush the engine after he just swamped it. Oh, Correct man. yourself. That's an inner fender well. Yeah, so, I don't know. Got that, that's great. Oh, wait. Oh, is that a, a new Brand new belt, brand new. Is it a new used belt? No, it's a brand new belt. Okay, it doesn't look used. Okay, it got the old. Is it the 467? I don't know. It's a 364, I think that's the regular belt. We got the old Badlands fucking extender winch. Oh boy. And then. Why is there so many spark plugs in there? Uh, because he was chasing a problem. What problem? Well, yeah, well, it's swamped. So. Coming to find out. So the, uh, those are the fucking little tie downs, green key, oh, we owner's got manual. These go right in the trash. Yeah, brake pads. Uh, we'll get DPs for it. Yep. Well, filter. Well, filter. That's the STM compression tool. All right. That's a ignition coil pack. Coil pack. Those are injectors. That's a rad cap. There's multiple spark plugs, like Super, 6, he spark He bought plugs. like 15 because he... Well, I guess we're good to go on spark plugs. I, we need to change yours anyway, so there you go. I already bought them. Well, now we got extra. We've got what plug wires. What we got here? All right, so we got wires for coils. Um, Looks like a diff seal, probably. No, no, I don't know what seal that is. It's sticky now. It says joint and an antache. <laughs> okay, here's our... Here's our... Uh, that should be some of the weights and stuff. The weights and stuff for the STM. He's got solid spacers that came with it. I Here guess. It um, he said he didn't put all the uh, bolts back in the belt box, so. Oh, that's good to know. They're here. Oh, what? oh well, it's a good thing I have a back cover. Because I already know what that is. What's that? That's the rear, part of the rear cover. <laughs> what rear cover? On the, like this back plate on the, uh, for the clutches. Like that's, it, it, it got stuck. So it stripped out and he pulled the Okay, so he, he said that somebody um, put his clutch cover on with uh, an impact gun and he couldn't get any of them off, so he had to replace the back of the clutch cover. So there is a new one on there? There's a new one on there. Okay, thank God. So, I was going to say, because that's what that is. Yeah, so that's what... He said not all the spark plugs are good. Some are used, some are new, but... It comes with... Comes with some of the supplies to try and fix you it. You have to rebuild this. I hope not. I hope not. What did you? <sighs> I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> you are out. I know I'm not out. Why is this? Oh my god! There's so much mud in there. I'm there scared is... to even start it the way it is. There is a lot of mud in there. I'm not gonna lie. I would really want to fucking take the airbox. Oh, off. we're 100 percent taking the airbox off at some point and cleaning it. That's that is not good, dude. That's a lot. That's a lot of I mean, I have a little bit of dirt here. I will say oh, that. Oh, no, I have, I have mud in there, too. I have a lot of splashing in there. Lord. And well, this, this is not very promising. Is that bus? Oh, actually, is this the... It's the uh, outsider motor company. Well, this is the quad logic one, actually. It's black. Oh, is it? Yeah, that might be the quad logic one. No, that's at least good. He's running some good oh, parts there. Oh, that was like silicone-y. Yeah, everything is like silicone -y. Super fucking slack. Okay, well, I guess we got to see if it does it? something now. Got to probably squeeze the brake. Hi. Maintenance required. You have the key back in it? Mm. I think that... Oh wait, hang on, it's not all the way in park probably. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it's all the way. It says, sport mode. Which it should. It's acting like it's not in... Let's put it in neutral. That's rings, that could be uh, a lot of things. Thought I saw blue smoke. It doesn't run very good. I didn't say it ran good. You said did it run, or will it start? Does it start? <laughs> that's, that's... And yes, it did. You could give us a little you know ins... What? Here, go ahead. Let it idle for a minute. It, it idles good. Does it? Yeah. You had to give it throttle to keep it running. <laughs> Let her charge up for another minute. You know what? Honestly, this thing recently, I've had to do the same thing. 
it'll start and then Don't it'll start stall. trying to make it sound better. No, no, no. Well, that, that makes that one sound worse. No, you're trying to make this sound better. Didn't you hear that shit? That shit sounded good. It sounded like garbage. It sounded loud. It did sound very loud. That was it way was louder really than my loud. phone. We also didn't have the air filter in this. Let's make everything better by putting that in. You want to just throw my air filter in real quick? Does it really make a difference? No. Close enough. Let's see if that helps at all. Turn it on 40 amp. And then turn it right to, to off after we fire it. That? Yeah. The switch is off now. Oh, you know what it might be? Put it back to 10 amp. We might not be making good contact here. Yeah. Why is it doing that? <laughs> Runs great. I didn't say fucking runs great. I said I don't. Let it charge up for a minute. All right, so from what Seth told me off camera here with this thing, um, the main reason the guy's selling it, and well, it's, was selling it, and the reason Seth got such a good deal. Main reason was he doesn't have time to run. Number two, okay, it's so got mechanical issues. It's got mechanical issues. So, um, big issue being when the thing, well, supposedly when it seemed to get hot, um, it doesn't want to start anymore, but we're experiencing that right now, and it's cold. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to diagnose and see why it's doing it. Um, to me, it almost sounds like, to me, something with the starter or the solenoid. Um, so first thing I want to do, I actually want to pop the plug off the side of the engine and try to crank it by hand. Um, make which, sure it's not Make sure it's not hydro locking, because that's almost what it sounds like when you hit the button. It's like, Jah, Jah. like it's does it's like it's struggling. So... I'm gonna make sure it's not hydrolocked first. Then, uh, what do you call it? We'll jump into seeing if it's possibly a starter. I do have a starter off of my 650. Um, it should be the same everything. It shouldn't really matter. Uh, so we'll throw that in just to try it. And I think we're gonna go from there and see if we can actually make this thing make some noise and prolong noise. Because from what Seth made it sound like is, you see, he, the guy seemed to think it was a hot issue. Like anytime it got hot. Yeah. Um, but I do see just some evidence looking down over by the starter right now. It's an aftermarket starter in there. So I'm wondering if... It's a cheapy Amazon starter. It's an Amazon starter and the thing can't handle the power of the 1,000 here. So let's dig in. So I think what Seth's going to do real quick, let's pop the clutches off. Because um, unfortunately that's the only way to change the starter. And while he's doing that, because uh, we got to... I want to see what's in there. Because I, I, I I'm scared. Uh, yeah, I'm I wanna, scared. Um, see how bad the inner box is. I'm gonna go over that, and then we're gonna pop up. Um, like I said, I'm gonna test it by hand and see how she turns over, and then we'll go from there. What would you get us into, dude? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take you guys on a voyage. We're we're more Outlander guys. We can fix those. You know, obviously it's motors motor. It's all the same. Taking them apart slightly different, but. We're gonna bring you guys through this renegade, and we're gonna bring you through the whole, the whole build if we choose to keep. Well, if I choose to keep it or part it out, if it seems to be like it's gonna cost way too much money to fix. But we're gonna bring you along for the ride. So, you know what? You guys are gonna learn all about renegades. <laughs> we are too. Yeah. All right. Let's get the Seth taking that clutch cover off, and then I'm gonna play with turning this engine over by hand. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. We really appreciate your support. Seth, where can they catch us on the interwebs? You can catch us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, hit us up, shoot us a message. So with that, we'll just have to catch you guys next time on Let Dirt Fly. Have you forgotten where you were?